Hi, today I'm going to walk you through a full unboxing and installation of a new HID Fargo HDP 6600 printer, as well as the transfer film, the print color ribbons, and finally the cards themselves. So you've got a box with your printer inside of it. Let's get it unboxed. Up front you've got a, a single clip that opens similar to that, and the lid pops open. Inside the lid we do have an accessory tray. That tray will hold your power supply uh, power cords, some instructions, a USB cord, and finally your input hopper. I'll set that off to the side. Next up there is a foam uh, protection layer on top of the printer. We'll take that out and set it to the side as well. Now we've got the printer. Let's get it out and get it set up. Right. We'll set the box to the side. All right, so you've got your new printer. It's already pre-assembled with the flipper if, it, if you did order a dual side capable printer or dual side enabled. Uh, let's take it out of the bag. As you roll it onto the back, it makes it a little bit easier. And then pop it up to the four feet, and there it'll come off nice. This is your, your basic HDP 6600 printer with a flipper, kind of for, for your own use, uh, kind of up front. This is your main consumable drawer, so we'll untape the access to those. And up front, that drawer does pop open. It does have a little safety protection foam in there. And inside the drawer, we have two main trays. On this side is your transfer film tray. And on this side is your print ribbon tray. Both of these will get the consumables installed into them <coughs> to help you get up and running. And next, we're going to attach the output hopper. Inside your accessory tray, the output hopper is pre-bagged for protection slide right out the bottom and there are some clips here that are directionally oriented and you can tell when you put it up to the printer it locks into place you can hear that click you know it's solidly located so next we're going to go ahead and install the transfer film we'll start by closing the print ribbon tray and next we're going to open up what we call the accumulator which you pull straight up and turn to the side when we do that we provide access fully around the mechanism and next, we're going to pull this little blue tab down, which will unlock where that consumable is going to go. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the transfer film. Inside the transfer film, you're actually going to find a cleaning card. Now this cleaning card is intended for cleaning the drive roller on your film side. So anytime you replace the, the transfer film, we really ask that you clean that drive roller. Cleaning this purple drive roller really will ensure that your printer maintains the proper amount of uh, transfer tension on the ribbon and make sure that that ribbon is applying uh, the image properly to that ribbon to properly orient that, that printed surface to the card the way you desire. That's definitely something to keep an eye on. If you have a, a dirtier office environment, perhaps you work in somewhere that's not quite as clean uh, as, as, as the office that we're in today, uh, we really recommend you keeping an eye on that. Next, we'll take the ribbon out of the, the clamshell. You can see there are two different colors on the, we call them the cores of the transfer film. It is stuck together uh, with a little adhesive. You can hear it pop like that. And they, they can only go in one orientation. So there are different ends on the cores. And you'll know when you try and put it in, if it doesn't glide right in, it's probably in the wrong orientation. And you need to flip the ribbon the other direction. So if I go in and try and insert it this way, I know it's incorrect. So if that happens, simply flip the transfer film over. Now when I go to set it in, it pops in really nice. Drape the ribbon over the top, pop the green into the green side, flip up your blue tab, the transfer film is inserted and properly ready to use. Let's go ahead and swing this accumulator back over and we're going to push it down until we can hear it click. Your transfer film is ready, slide the drawer in, and you can hear that click as well. Now that we've got the transfer film installed, let's go ahead and install the print ribbon. So we're going to open up the drawer, 
by pulling it out like that and pull down the blue lever till you feel it snap that way. Here's our print ribbon. Similarly to the, the transfer film side, they are color coded. We do have a blue and a gray. And again, they are a little bit adhesively uh, attached so you can peel it, feel it pop. So the cores are directionally oriented. If you try and put it in the wrong way, it won't fit. So if I try and orient it this way, obviously it doesn't fit. Let's go ahead and flip it over. As I flip it over, it slides in nicely. Now let's drape the ribbon over the top, down into the blue where the supply side fits in nicely, and go ahead and flip that lever up. The ribbon is now locked in. We can close the ribbon tray until you hear it snap. Next, we're gonna install the cleaning roller. Inside your print ribbon clamshell, there is a cleaning roller. It does have a little tab that you can pull and it'll release the adhesive and expose the sticky lining on that cleaning roller. This is really an important component of your printer. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that this is as clean as possible and if it is getting full of dirt, debris, or any, uh, anything in your area, that's really what's protecting it from getting inside your printer. So we want you to inspect this whenever you can and make sure that none of that dirt, debris, or, or any plastic filings or anything is getting into your printer and potentially causing damage or certainly at, at a minimum causing print image quality that you're really not looking to have. So there are two little guides that slide down and you're gonna to wanna to push it in until it snaps. So we find the guides, push it in, you can physically hear and feel that it snaps in and it's properly registered. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our input hopper. So again, inside your accessory tray that came with the printer, this is called your input hopper. It does come lined in plastic and it has a little uh, tape to keep it sealed. Let's go ahead and crack that open. Discard the bag. This is your input hopper. A uh, fairly simple operation. You'll set it in kind of at an angle like this. Tilt it down until it clicks in. Now you know it's properly registered. Now we're going to go ahead and install your cards. Today we're going to use some HID UltraCard Premiums. Uh, we certainly recommend with any retransfer printer to do use an UltraCard Premium uh, or any composite cards of your choice. Really the composite cards add a little bit more heat resistance, which obviously in a retransfer style printer, we are applying a little bit more heat than we would in a traditional uh, direct-to-card style printer. So cards typically come in something like this, we call a sleeve of 500. Uh, they are individually wrapped in uh, packages of 100 within that. So we'll go ahead and we'll open 100 cards. Discard some plastic. You've got your stack of 100 cards. <clears throat> On the side, there's a little rubber button that you lightly depress. Open up that input hopper, and this is where we're gonna put them. So we'll slide off our, our ribbon, set those cards right inside, just like that. Close the lid, and we're ready to go. Next, we're gonna close the front door and attach the power cord to the printer. Simply swing the door up until you hear it click. Now I can spin the printer around and you can see exactly where that power cord attaches. So on the back side, we do have an in input for the power cord itself. And right next to it, there is a power switch. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the power cord and get it plugged in. We're working in the US today, so we have a US power cord. Take off a twist tie. You can see there are two different ends. Obviously, we'll take the male end of the, the pigtail, plug it into the printer till you feel it positively lock. That printer is now ready to plug in. Now we're gonna grab the USB cord and get that plugged in. Again, in our accessory tray, we do have a USB uh, printer to computer cord. Take the packaging, discard that. So you've got the end that is gonna go into your PC or your, your Mac, uh, and finally your, your USB to printer end. If you see on the printer itself right here, we have some different designators, the top one being for USB and the bottom being for Ethernet. So we're gonna plug into USB right now. Take this printer end. So our power cord and USB cord are properly attached. Let's get ready and start installing the printer driver for our new HTP 6600 printer. Before we even get started, let's go ahead and go to the advanced tab in our printer driver we're going to select the Utilities tab. Inside the Utilities tab, we have an option for an Update Manager. 
If we select the Update Manager and check for updates, we can make sure that our printer, firmware, as well as the driver are fully up to date with the latest versions. I see that there is a new version available for download. I can select Download right here, and it will begin the download process. And we can then install that printer firmware onto our printer and make sure that it's with the latest firmware available. The firmware has been downloaded. At the bottom right, I can select my printer, my 6600 card printer, and begin updating the firmware. At this point, the firmware is being transferred from my PC onto my printer, and you will see that it go through a reset cycle as well. Our firmware update is complete. You can see it here in the driver, it says update complete. And now we can go back to our advanced tab and start selecting the areas how we'd like to print our card. So if you haven't already, go to hidglobal.com, go to the Drivers and Downloads tab, and you can search for HDP 6600 drivers. I've already downloaded the driver onto my PC, so we're going to go ahead, open the installation package, and we're going to click, let's install the 6600 card driver. We're going to say yes, and it's going to start the driver installation. I'm going to select English because that's the language that we're in today. Uh, we're going to say yes, we do want to install the 6600 printer driver on this computer. We can read through the end user license agreement. I'm going to accept that agreement. Click next. And I'm going to say today I'm going to use a USB connection. So I'm going to say next. Finally, it does ask if we'd like to install the HID printer status monitor. In this case, I would like to install that. Now it's ready, and we're going to select next to install the driver. It starts the process, and soon it will ask me to plug in my USB power or USB cord from the printer to the computer. Now it's asking me to plug in my USB and make sure that the printer is powered up. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch, turn on my printer, and I'm going to take my USB cord and plug it into my PC. Now my printer driver installation is complete. I'm going to reboot my printer, my computer later and select finish. After turning on the power switch, it'll take a few seconds. You'll see the display start to illuminate with the HID logo, and then that printer will start to power up. you hear some noises, and a few moments later, we'll be ready to print. Now I'm going to walk you through the printer driver, some of the features and functions that it has to offer, and really help you make sure that you've got the right selections based on your criteria. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the printer driver. I'm going to click on my Windows bar on Settings, Devices, and finally Printers and Scanners. Inside my list, I'll see HDP 6600 card printer, and I'm going to go ahead and select Manage. Inside here, Finally, we're going to select Printing Preferences. Now you're going to see the HID driver setup screen. The basic setup screen allows us to select if we want to print on one side of the card or both sides of the card, portrait orientation or landscape orientation. It's going to detect the ribbon, colors, color selections, and finally the card type. The card type is very important, and we want to make sure that you select the actual card type that you're using in your office environment. So today, I am using an HID Fargo UltraCard Premium Card. We do have options for additional HID cards uh, if you're not using an UltraCard Premium, but today we're using a Premium. Next, I'm going to click on the Advanced tab. Within the Advanced tab, we have a myriad of options. Inside here, there is Print Mode, Ribbon Colors, K-Resin Printing, there's a lot you can do in the driver. We really ask that you reference your user guide. It'll really help explain what all these features and functions do and how to best utilize them. Inside the card area up top here in the device settings, there's a setting called image transfer. If you're using a technology card and you're having issues where the transfer film is not properly releasing from the card, perhaps it's something that we can tune within the printer itself. So don't get discouraged. We can come in here, we can alter some of the dwell times which is really how long it takes for that card to traverse through the printer in, in inches per second. And finally, some of the temperature offsets. We do have some helpful videos to help walk you through that, so don't be afraid to go to our HID Academy YouTube channel where all that video, video content is present. 
As you walk through here, today we are going to use some default settings. This is really what allows us to make some preferences within the, the driver itself of how we want to print on our card. One thing we do want to highlight here is the color correction tab. Today, I'm using the default color correction. We also have a legacy selection. And really that is for customers of ours that have used legacy printers, such as an HTP 5000, in their workplace prior to acquiring a new HTP 6600. If you want your cards to look exactly like they did out of an HTP 5000, we really recommend that you go ahead and select legacy as your color correction method. If you want them to utilize the latest color profiles that we've developed for the 6600, go ahead and leave it on default. Today, we're gonna print on default. In the utilities tab, I can go ahead and do a test print. There's a number of options that I can select and pick from. I wanna pick a card with some nice colors. So I'm gonna select this for the front. We're going to select another color image for the back. Now, I'm going to select print. We're going to print a test card from our 6600 to give you an idea of how those cards look coming out of the printer. The card is done printing, comes into our output hopper. Simply retrieve it and you're good to go. Some of the really unique features of the Fargo HTP 6600 is really how fast the printer works. Not necessarily just in batch mode, which many of us use in the office, office environments, but really how fast it heats up. If you've ever used a retransfer printer in the past, you know how long it can take to heat up in the morning, after lunch, or maybe any break that you've taken where you haven't printed cards. The great opportunity to utilize a 6600 is utilizing our new ION technology. If you're not familiar with it, ION really stands for instant on. And when we say that, this printer from the time you hit print from a cold start in the morning or after any breaks, you'll have a card out in under 60 seconds on a single side printed card. Something that was never attainable with legacy printers or competitive printers to this point. So uh, a very unique uh, and, and powerful benefit to you in the office environment helps saves time. And secondly, the energy efficiency of the printer is something that we really strive for in maintaining a positive impact on our energy usage, we do have green circle certification on this printer, which demonstrates that we are using less energy than any of the competitive printers in this, fit, in this space. Real briefly, I wanna walk you through some of our options on our front display. So we're gonna hit it up here. You see on the bottom right-hand side, we do have a toolbox. We're gonna to select enter. Within our display, we have a, a number of different options. We can go to info, test prints, toolbox, languages, if you'd need to change your language, and exit. Right now I want to walk you into the toolbox a little bit, so we'll select toolbox, hit enter, and this is the primary selections that you're going to need on a daily basis or a, or a routine maintenance perspective. Clean printer, so if you are experiencing a little bit of a dirty environment in your, in your office space, or you're just starting to see some card print qualities that you're just not as comfortable with from what you previously had, you can go ahead and clean your printer. Also, if you scroll down, there is a selection called Clean Film Roller. If you remember earlier in this video, I demonstrated where that Clean Film Roller is, and here's the option that you'll select in the front display to enable that. All right, we've walked through a full unboxing experience. We've got our printer set up, consumables installed, driver installed, ready to go. We've printed some test cards. You're ready to go. If you have any further questions, feel free to go to our YouTube channel, HID Academy, there's a myriad of helpful videos to help install encoders, walk you through any cleaning routines, anything you may have questions with. There's a lot of great content on there, and we look forward to talking with you soon.